Mimi, thank you. And we're going to give up breaking news. We're also following this happened on the city's northeast side this morning. A woman is in critical condition after an early morning crash. This happened just before 3 this morning near 36th and Franklin Road. Police say the woman was driving northbound on Franklin Road when she crossed the center line, flipped over into a ditch on the southbound side of the road. Rescue crews had to free her from the car. No one else was inside the vehicle with her. Investigators will examine a bullet recovered from an IMPD police cruiser this morning in the hopes it will lead to the suspects who fired at them last night. This happened on the south side after a short chase. Sunrise reporter Chris Kirshner live at the city county building this morning with what happened and what police are saying about it. Chris. Yeah, good morning, Julia. A dangerous situation, certainly, not only for police, but for the people that live and work in the area of I-65 and Raymond Street. That's where the shooting took place. The suspects firing at least nine rounds at police, but it actually started a little bit south of there. It stopped Stop 11 and Madison. That's where police received a call of a person with a gun. There was a short chase and then gunfire from the back of the car hitting the police cruiser on the passenger side. Police did not fire back with their weapons, but they are firing back with words. When you have officers uh, that are going about their business, ensuring that the community is safe, ensuring that people can uh, enjoy the holiday season, and you have two individuals who feel it appropriate to fire at police, that's problematic. It's problematic in a lot of areas, and if you can't tell by my heightened sense, then I want you to know how upset I am. Yeah, police say the car sped through an apartment complex where small children were present. Officers did not fire back because they say they couldn't get a clear shot without hitting neighboring apartments. SWAT K-9 helicopters, they were all used to search for those suspects. Those suspects were not found just yet, but they did retrieve that bullet from the police cruiser. They have the car involved, so they're hoping those will help them lead to those suspects. We should say, Julia, no officers were hurt in that shooting.